They're the fastest boats in the water, flying across the surface at 200 miles per hour. At this speed, when something goes wrong, disaster. In a blink of an eye, a piece of equipment fails or a driver makes a mistake and that boat could be 50 feet in the air, upside down and backwards. At first glance, conservatively dressed Dave Vilwalk might look more like a banker than a daredevil. But this champion driver has been racing hydroplanes for years and has been in some pretty dramatic crashes. You're traveling at over a football field per second. So if you aren't anticipating what's going to happen, you're likely to crash. They flip through the air as if they weigh nothing. But these boats are 30 feet long, 7,000 pounds, with 4,000 horsepower engines. An unlimited hydroplane that is a celebration of excess. Everything about it is bigger and badder and more extensive than you could possibly ever imagine. Dave says, imagine driving your car at 200 miles an hour over two and three foot speed bumps without springs or shocks. That's what it feels like to ride this thing. The environment of looking from the outside of a hydroplane, this is this wonderful, graceful vehicle that flies over the water. And the truth is, the boat's actually beating the snot out of the driver that's inside. Dave fell in love with racing boats as a teenager. While most kids his age were out riding bicycles... I started out racing flat-bottom boats uh, a long time ago because that's what my uncle had done. Hey, Dave, goodbye. And it was a lot of fun, and I progressed into bigger flat-bottom boats, managed to set a lot of world's records and win a lot of championships. From there, of course, it was a natural step to racing hydroplanes, Dave soon breaking almost every record in the book. In 2004, he decides to see just how fast he can drive his legendary hydroplane, Miss Budweiser, and tries for the world's straightaway speed record. And we're going to be racing hard this weekend against time and Mother Nature, and we're going to see what we're made of. Dave doesn't let his nerves show as he gets ready to start the record attempt. One of the problems in setting records is you know you're going to experience things that other people have not. Everybody pay attention, the course is live. The speed record is calculated by averaging the time over two one-kilometer runs. 9.83. The speed to beat is 198 miles per hour. Dave is buckled into the cockpit and hits the gas. Here he comes. 13.437 miles an hour. He's on record pace over the first leg. For the second leg, he gives it everything he's got. 225. 225. 30. He's out of it. He's out of it. It's more than fast enough to break the world record. But the burst of speed also breaks the boat's rudder. Okay, everybody, the race is on hold. The bud has got a hole in it. We need to get him off the course. Luckily, Dave isn't hurt in this record stunt. Broke the rudder bracket, smacked the propeller, and then cleared the propeller and strut off the boat. But it's a very different story seven years earlier. Dave was at the Columbia Cup Championship in Washington State, ready to claim the record for the most consecutive race wins. This would be his 20th win in a row. But as he bursts out of the gate, almost instantly, the boat has hit two waves in a row. At top speed, the force is too much and the hydroplane blows over. The top of the boat crashes onto the water, exploding the protective canopy that Dave is sitting under, ripping off his oxygen mask and submerging him in the water. I was unconscious underwater. Um, the safety team got there right away, got me up onto the, the bottom of the boat. They cleared the airway, got the water out of waste. Amazingly, Dave survives. His hand is crushed by the flying metal of the canopy. He ends up losing two fingers on his right hand. It's the type of crash that might deter another driver from racing altogether. But Dave is no quitter. 
I just felt I had something more to give and for the sport and things to prove to myself. Dave and the team rebuild Miss Budweiser, redesigning the driver's capsule to make it safer. And luckily to date, since we've done that, nobody's been killed or hurt significantly inside that capsule. Years later, Dave will have good reason to be thankful for that safer capsule. In the summer of 2009, he enters Thunder on the Ohio, a race he's won 10 times before. In his first heat, another driver loses control and hits Dave's boat. Dave flips over and smashes into the water. But Dave's work redesigning the driver's capsule pays off. It stays in one piece and he waits in safety for help to arrive. The only injury I got was a finger injury where it, it broke a knuckle in the finger. So as boat accidents go, I'll take that. That's a good one.